the patient comes in and will receive uh, either sedation uh, if it's going to be done under local anaesthetic or a general anaesthetic. And for a general anaesthetic, they're totally asleep uh, and the anaesthetist will put them to sleep and put a tube down into their throat to help them breathe. And then what we'll do is we'll clean the area, usually over the left collarbone, and just uh, once we've cleaned it, made it all sterile, we'll usually have given some antibiotics beforehand because infection is one of the things we worry about a lot. And then we drape the whole area, just leaving the area that we're going to be interested in with uh, exposed. And then we will put local anaesthetic into that area, make a cut, which is usually about this big, underneath the left collarbone. And then one of two things happens. We, can, we need to get the wires into the heart. And the usual way is to find a vein which runs between your uh, chest and your arm, called the cephalic vein. And through that, we can put wires in. But sometimes that isn't big enough. So then we have to use a needle to get into the vein underneath the collarbone. And then through those, we put wires into the heart using x-rays. We position them in the right place. Um, and then we connect those wires up to a box, which we place underneath the skin, or in some people who are quite thin, underneath the muscle, the pectoral muscle. We have to test, of course, that the device works properly. And what we do is, we, by a variety of mechanisms, we can push people into an abnormal heart rhythm, a very abnormal rhythm. And once you're in the rhythm, we watch the device, check it, that it's picking it up, that you're in an abnormal rhythm, and then it will give it, the patient a shock. And we'll see if the shock gets them out of the abnormal rhythm. Of course, we always have a backup of uh, another system, which is the usual external systems that we use, just in case it doesn't work. But in the vast majority of cases, it works. And if it works, then that's fine. We sew everything up, and then the patient is woken up. Under local anaesthetic, uh, when we give the shock to test the device, then the patient is heavily sedated and most patients won't feel a thing.